Okay, welcome to Minecraft, but the world progressively updates. In this video, I start my world in the extremely old beta version of Minecraft, and every time 10 minutes passes by, I update my game version until we reach 1.16. Today, I checked out some of Minecraft's oldest structures, and for this entire video, had a beta Minecraft world generation. This is only the fourth video on my channel, and we're already close to 50k subs somehow. So if you guys do enjoy my content, then leave a like down below. If we can somehow get 5k likes today, I'll also do a manhunt video in alpha Minecraft. And 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, yet, so if that includes you, then you should definitely go ahead and do that. It's completely free, and it helps out with my brand new channel a ton. This video was also inspired by Zai, so credit to him, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Our journey begins in Minecraft Beta Edition, so as we go through this video, I'm gonna summarize each update. In this version, there are no hunger bars, and food instantly heals you. All of the sound effects are extremely cursed, and for some reason, every mob starts randomly jumping. So let's get into it. Okay, welcome to Minecraft Beta 1.0. So this is obviously a very, very old version of Minecraft. It came out in like 2012 and everything is cursed, okay? All of the mobs can jump, there's no hunger whatsoever, and like, that's basically all I know. So we're just gonna run around and I think build a house before the 10 minutes are up, because when we update to version 1 of Minecraft, I think mobs get added. So it's gonna be like quite hard to survive. So right now the first thing that I'm gonna do is grab myself some stone tools. I see some stone like right next to me, so we can just go ahead and grab this wooden pickaxe and also a wooden shovel, because why not? Oh, I found iron! Let's go! I'm pretty sure iron's like actually quite rare in this version. Like caves are really uh, hard to find, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and mine that. And full stone tools, there we go. All right, hopefully we get a lot of iron here because I can use it to make some armor for like the later versions. Oh wait, actually, I think there might be mobs in this version. I guess we'll just have to see. It's gonna become night at like nine minutes in, so I'll have to survive for like one minute before I update, but that should be fine, I think. Oh, we got some leather, let's go. Wait, I just saw a pig, okay. The only way to get food is by killing pigs in Minecraft beta, so this is actually quite a good find. Oh, and apparently it didn't drop anything, but I do hear something below me. I think I hear zombies. Before I go down, I'm gonna find coal, because I literally can't see anything. And there's some over there. Okay, perfect. Four torches. There we go. I'm gonna get, like, a bit more so I can build a house as well. Where is the zombie, though? That's the question. Can I block clutch? I can. Okay, we hit it. Oh, it's jumping! No, stay away. It dropped a feather? What? Oh, I hear water, though. This cave might continue. Okay, where is the water? That's the question. Oh, it's up. Okay. Let's take this torch with me. Oh no, no, no. Dude, <laughs> the damage sounds. I'm actually getting really deep down. If I can find diamonds, that's gonna be so good. Oh no, skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. What is it holding? What is that? That's not a bow. That's like a, what is, okay. I don't know why I decided to go caving, but it's a zombie. Let's get its feet. Yes, we get a free feather. I hear so many zombies. I actually don't even understand how there's this many. Okay, we're gonna take a risk here and we're gonna mine some more iron. And I think I'll go back to surface after this so I can get more wood, because I am kind of out. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it back up, but I think I remember where I came from, so we should be okay. Oh no, I hear a creeper. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go at- Oh! Okay, I kind of jumped out of my seat and screamed, which I'm not gonna make you guys listen to, so we're gonna move on. Our first update for this video is the official release of Minecraft. This was named the Adventure Update because it adds strongholds and the end dimension to the game. I can now also enchant my gear and breed animals, but at this point, I just needed to find my loot and go on a mining trip, so let's get back into it. Okay, we're in Minecraft version 1.0.0, so this is the first ever release, and we have to convert the world from beta to, like, regular Minecraft, so... Yeah, here we are. In the exact same place, but it looks very different. And I think now if I double tap W, I can sprint. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try and get back to the place where I died because there was quite a lot of iron down there and I'm pretty sure it's just over this way. I finally have Fulbright as well, just to make the video like way easier to see because that was like actually pitch black. Yes, I found my loot. Holy dude, that was actually terrifying. Look how big the explosion is. All right, well, at least now I can actually make it back to the surface because I know where I came from. Oh, and it's nighttime. Okay, I'm gonna have to start like properly surviving and building a house right now. So let me just break down this tree. I'm actually gonna grab wood and like build into the side of a mountain for my house, I think. Or maybe I should make a dirt shack. That could be even better. I'm gonna grab like 30 dirt right now and I'm gonna build myself a shack. And then we can smell up the iron and like craft some tools inside of it. Oh my, no, 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 I hear a creeper. Oh, don't think you're doing it again, okay? That's so quick! Stay away. All right, we're gonna build our dirt shack on top of a mountain so nothing can get to me. I'm such a good builder. Let's go. Okay, we have two doors. Place them down. Don't come in. Stay away. Oh, no. And now I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe and an iron sword. Okay, I'm gonna go on a quest to kill some sheep so I can make a bed. Hopefully I don't get killed by the creepers and stuff. Stay away. No, there's so many mobs. 
I'm so slow. Oh wait, no, I can sprint. I forgot. I forgot. See you later, mods. See you later. I wonder if boats exist in this version. Let's see. I started playing Minecraft in 1.3 and there were definitely boats then. But obviously this is version 1. So I guess we're about to find out. Oh, there are. Okay, I think I'm just going to go into this spruce biome and look for mobs so that I can get some food. The thing is, I don't have any sprint right now, so I could literally die. But oh, chickens. Yes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you hunger. So we should be fine to just chug this. Okay. Oh, it actually did give me hunger. I must have just been insanely lucky because like I just ate like eight pieces. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to break the number one rule of Minecraft and dig straight down and look for diamonds because I have my iron pickaxe and we have like two minutes left in this version. Oh, I found more iron. Let's go. But I just want to start getting a bunch of gear because like having enchants and some diamonds will be really good for later on. Okay, I'm at Y11 now, so I'm going to make myself a furnace and start smelting up some food and also iron. Oh wait, actually, do you guys hear the update music? It's time. Let's go. Okay, next we're going to go all the way to Minecraft 1.3. The previous two updates add new biomes as well as the nether, but 1.3 adds trading, desert and jungle temples, ender chests, and a bunch of new blocks. By the way, I'm not going to skip many updates, but the nether is kind of for later in the game, and 1.3 makes early game exploring really good, so let's continue. Okay, we are now in Minecraft 1.3, so I think I'm just going to end my mining trip here and just like dig up to surface, because the brand new structures in 1.3 will have diamonds, enchanted books, like so much stuff that will be useful for me, and if we go mining after exploring all of that, we could have like a fortune book or just like some kind of of really good enchanted book. So hunting down a jungle temple and a desert temple shouldn't actually be too hard because there's only like 10 biomes total in the entire game. So I think what I'm going to do is just travel across this entire ocean and hope that I can find some other biome that will be quite useful. I'm going to have to go quite far away because all of this is generated in Minecraft 1.0 so the new biomes won't start spawning until I like travel quite far away. Okay I found land, perfect. We're just going to go in here and I think there's a massive cave here but right now I'm really trying to find the Minecraft 1.3 structures okay. Oh I finally found a desert, let's go dude. Okay, I'm running really low on food right now, but I think we should be fine. Now, villages did exist before Minecraft 1.3. I think they were added in like Minecraft 1.1. However, the desert village was added in this update. So hold up, hold up. Do you guys see that? There's like a half loaded in one. Wait, what is that house? That is the weirdest looking house I've ever seen. Dude, Minecraft is so glitchy in this version and I can just x-ray. Okay. Uh, well, I can see a mineshaft, so that's fun. But we did find a village. That's actually so good since I don't really have much food. Oh no, that's not good. Okay then, right, well, uh, the weed's gone. I wonder if trades are still unfair in this version. One emerald for five arrows. Dude, are you kidding? Okay, this is low-key the smallest village that I've ever seen. However, there is a house with books in it, which is very good. Oh, this guy's a librarian. We can trade with him for emeralds. Okay, the question is, do I want to make like an OP enchanting setup or do I want to try and trade with this guy? Honestly, I'll probably find another village, so let's just like do one trade for an emerald. Just for the experience, okay? And this guy's trading me three emeralds for one bookshelf. This villager is literally scamming me. 13 books for one emerald and then three emeralds for one bookshelf, which is worth nine. Okay, I guess we'll just keep it then. I'll just run over this way. The desert... Okay then, <laughs> apparently I just fell. Wait, a jungle already? Dude, the desert is literally just there and I already found one. Let's go. So to make a cookie, I'm pretty sure all I need is like sugar, cocoa beans, and then wheat. But I'm not sure if I even need all of these. Oh, I did it. Let's go. Wait, we get eight? That's actually quite good. Since I have bones right now, I think I'll just like grow some wheat. <laughs> the amount of unnecessary things that I'm doing for this video. I mean, to be fair, this is actually an okay food source. Like, I can't even complain. Okay, let's just plant all of these seeds down. Dude, this is OP. Wheat just instantly grows. So now we have like, let's see, 10 wheat in total. And then I can just do this. And we already have 24. Dude, this is OP. We have 48 cookies right now. Let's go. All right, the final thing that I've got to do is find myself a jungle temple. So we're just going to run straight into the biome. Okay, I've been looking for quite a while but I haven't found one. However, as you can see, we have a new desert here and this one's like a lot bigger. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, I found a spawner. No way. There's an exposed spawner in the middle of a desert. This is only a zombie one, so I think I'm just going to break it like straight away. I mean, I could have made a grinder right there, but there's not really much point. However, there are chests here. This could be quite good. Let's see. Oh, a saddle. Perfect. Wait, but why are there saddles if like horses don't exist yet? Dude, I remember like back in the day, I wanted to go to Minecon and ask if they would add horses to the game and then like they did it in 1.6. So they definitely don't exist yet. I'm pretty sure the saddle is for a pig. Like, I'm not even kidding. Honestly, I might even get a pig. That'd be quite epic. Oh, I found a desert temple and a new jungle. Let's go, dude. Okay, hopefully I get lucky right now. Also, I just remembered that it's probably a good idea for me to actually make a fishing rod. Oh no, I'm being attacked. 
Chill, dude. Yeah, if you guys are relatively new to Minecraft, you probably won't know this, but fishing rods are like really useful in the previous versions because they deal knockback. So I can literally just spam my fishing rod like this and push away any mob I need to. So anyway, let's see what's inside. This is actually good. There's a skeleton apparently. Okay. Oh, more than one skeleton. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Just do this and rod trick the skeleton. Let's go. All right, please give me something good. That is all I want right now. Come on. Five iron. Okay, that's definitely a good start. Two diamonds. Yes. And even more iron and gold. Oh, this is so good, dude. More iron, even more iron, and even more bones. Okay, so I can just get like a bunch of carrots or wheat if I want to. And I'm also going to take this TNT. I don't really know what I'll use it for, but I'll definitely use it for something. Unfortunately, no enchanted books, but we could potentially find a jungle temple. So I guess I'll just swim over here and we'll see what we find. Yo, I finally found one. Let's go. Okay, well, this has been slightly more than 10 minutes, but I was determined. Okay, we finally found the entrance. Let's go, dude. So hopefully I can get something good. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is just like open this. We got some bones and some iron. We got some free arrows though. I'll definitely take that. And then there's another tripwire here. Okay. Oh, dude, these chests were slightly underwhelming, but we did get some, like, arrows and string, I guess. So that's always good. And I guess redstone too, but I don't really need that for anything, so. Oh! Oh! Holy, that could have been me dead right there. Anyway, I think it's time to update again, so let's go. Minecraft 1.4. This version adds a bunch of new hostile mobs as well as the witch heart, and potatoes and carrots also now grow in villages. Apparently, villagers are made more self-aware and they can like and dislike players. I have no idea what that means, but let's get back into it. Okay, welcome to Minecraft 1.4.7. So this update is named the very scary update. 1.4 adds wither skeletons, withers, and also just a couple of other like small changes to the nether. So so I decided that I'm gonna go right now, because in the old versions of Minecraft, the nether is so easy to survive in compared to like 1.16. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to get some potions and also just all of the blaze rods that I need in the next 10 minutes. So I guess I'll just go- oh no, no, no. Dude. Everything's gone. One eternity later. Bang, 24 iron smelted, let's go. We have 34 in total, so I can get pretty much everything I need. Okay, here's a demonstration of why the fishing rod is so good. What I just did is called a rod trick, and it basically just gives you double crit damage. It's like a kind of glitch in Minecraft, but it's like a thing that lots of 1.8 PvP has used, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, now I'm gonna head to Y11, and we're gonna try and get some diamonds, okay? Dude, again? Oh my... There are literally creepers everywhere, like literally just down there around that corner, there's just a creeper waiting. Oh, I found diamonds, let's go. Okay, the only issue is there are a lot of mobs nearby me and also this looks like a very small vein of diamonds. All right, let's go for it. We got, oh, more than one? Dude, three diamonds. Oh my, this might be enough for enchants. If I'm really lucky, this might be enough. And we got four in total. Okay, four is actually still pretty good. I will definitely take that, okay? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe here. Because that means I can get enchantments later if I just want to mine obsidian. So that will be like so useful. Oh, more diamonds. Let's go, dude. This is actually so lucky. All right, perfect. That's enough for enchants plus a diamond sword. So, oh my, are you kidding? More diamonds? Dude, I thought I was unlucky by dying to full damage, but like... This was Loki a blessing in disguise. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make myself a nether portal. So we just got to put this here, this here, and then we're good. And if I just break four pieces of obsidian, then we can make enchants as soon as I go to the surface. I'm kind of still missing a book, so we can't make it right now, but I can just go to the nether. So we're just going to go ahead and do this and wait, what? Uh, dude, why is Minecraft so cursed? Like, I don't, I literally don't understand why this wouldn't work. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I- dude, this game is just so weird sometimes. Anyway, we are now here in the nether. So literally all I have to do now is just find myself a nether fortress. Yes, I found the fortress. Let's go, dude. That was actually really quick. And also the 10 minutes are now up. So I'm going to update again. So I will be right back. Minecraft 1.5, also known as the redstone update. We're not going to use any redstone. So this is kind of useless. But lava flows faster in the nether now. So that's fun. And we are now in Minecraft 1.5.2. So let's just load in. And the world is still here. Let's go. Before I go in, I'm just going to grab some mushrooms just in case I run out of food. Now this is a really good find. Oh wait, what? Nether was straight away. Let's go. Honestly, I'm not even sure if they have chests in these fortresses. Like I haven't found a single one so far, so maybe I'll just get the blaze rods and dip. Oh, I did find a blaze spawner though. Okay, so if I get like eight, I think we should be good. I'm just going to break the blocks beneath them, but this is a really good spawner because like there's blocks above it, so they can't like fly away really quickly. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to make a diamond sword so we can deal more damage. And then, oh, we got like three. Oh no, and two blaze rods. Let's go, dude. Oh no, I'm getting so low here. I'm on two hearts. Okay, I gotta be so careful. If I burn to death. No, no. Holy, dude. 
This is way too close for comfort. Okay, let me just block this off just in case they chase me down. Okay, we have seven right now, which is enough for the eyes of Ender. And there we go. Okay, that's fine. That's literally all I need. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I just hit a pigman. That is not ideal. I've got to get out of here. I've actually got to get out of here. No, stay away. Luckily, I have the rods so I can just like combo them. Dude, I just love this version of Minecraft. Like you can literally punch while you're eating and it's the most satisfying thing ever. I have no idea when they added the chests to the nether fortresses, but like there definitely aren't any in here. So I guess we'll just uh, head back to our portal. Dude, I still have pigment on me. Oh no, this is bad. 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 I just found my cobblestone, so I'm pretty sure the portal is right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'd say that was a pretty successful nether trip. Unfortunately, I didn't get any like loot chests, but we did get all the blaze rods we need and also very quickly. So I will definitely take that. Anyway, I'm back on the surface now. So all I need to find is one cow and some sugar cane and then we can get fully enchanted gear. Oh wait, I found my house. Dude, this looks so fresh. Holy. Look at this. The doors don't even work. I could literally get killed right now. Oh, hold up. I hear an enderman. Okay, what happens if I like blow up the end of them. <laughs> that actually worked. I saw a TikTok where somebody was just staring at it and it stopped moving, but I'm not sure if that's just, like actually it. Oh, okay. I guess that worked. Oh, we got an enderpearl as well. I found another one. Holy. Okay. Well, I guess as soon as I get a bit more gear, I'll just head towards the stronghold and then we can probably like go to the end very soon. Dude, I have 20 levels from killing those blazes. That's actually crazy. Welcome back to completely regular Minecraft where the zombie just for some reason is like halfway through the floor. Dude, this world is becoming so corrupted. This is crazy. Anyway, I'm just gonna update again and I will be right back. Minecraft 1.6. So basically horses. Also villagers do the hmm thing now. So let's get back into it. Okay, Minecraft 1.6.4. You guys will never expect what I'm gonna do right now. Basically, I'm gonna try and find a horse. So I sailed over that way before. So that's where like, the village that I already looted is. Oh, yes, I found sugarcane. Perfect. All right, I should be able to make enchants then. But if I go over this way, then I have a chance of finding like a village or like a spawner or something that can give me a saddle. So that is my plan. Also, I found a zombie with leather armor. What is going on? Bro, the world gen is getting more and more crazy. Like, this looks like an acacia biome, but it's just not. Oh, I found another enderman though. Dude, we're collecting so many pearls. Yeah, as I go through this, I'm just gonna collect as many pearls as I can because I don't really wanna go back to the nether. All right, we're gonna place down a boat here and we're gonna go. Yes, I found cows and more sugar cane. Let's go. All right, now it's time to finally make enchants. So we can do this, we can do this. And there we go, enchantment table. I'm actually gonna go for a level eight on the iron sword in case I can get fire aspect. Not quite, but I guess that's kind of okay. And then I guess I'll just enchant a bow as well since I got one from like the skeletons. Okay, I found another desert. Desert, so we're just gonna run through this and then like maybe I can find a second village. Oh wait, I found another temple. Let's go. If I get a saddle from this, I'm gonna be so happy, dude. Okay, let's break this. And we got a diamond, three emeralds. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna look for a village. So the emeralds are gonna be so useful for that. Oh, we got a saddle. Let's go, dude. That's so good. I don't think the gold is really useful for anything, but maybe I can trade in the village for like some ender pearls or something. And finally, we got extra gold and extra bones. Okay, okay, let's go back up. And I think I'm just gonna keep looking for a village because if I get like some houses with books in them i can make some really good enchants and like actually i'm pretty sure it's time to update now so we're just gonna do that really quickly minecraft 1.7 there are now new types of fish as well as rod enchantments it also adds a huge range of biomes as well as the amplified world type stained glass and stained clay also exist now and also lots of flowers so let's continue okay we are now here in minecraft 1.7.10 so this is like a version that i play all the time this is definitely my favorite version for wait we found a village and we have a bookshelf house here okay i'm just gonna break all of these and we're gonna make a really good enchantment set up and get some OP gear because like I might as well just get like really stacked for the end fight you know I'm also just gonna make carrots my main food source because there's so many of them so we're just gonna grab these really quickly okay so the best trade that I can see right now is emeralds for arrows so I guess I'll just like do that and see if he gives me a good like second tier trade okay we're just gonna do this so we have 36 arrows in total I guess that's kind of good and I think I might go caving again to be honest oh wait this world gen what is going on okay you know what? I'm just gonna dig straight down and we're gonna go caving again because if I get some more diamonds that'll be really good. I hear an enderman somewhere nearby, so we're gonna try and find that really quickly. All right, I can probably just like go in here. If I block it, we just, yeah, we're fine. All right, enderman, go. Let's tussle. <laughs> Dude, I can two tap enderman right now. That's so good. Yes, we finally found diamonds. Let's go. I think it's just a two vein, but I'll still take this either way. All right, I should be able to make something with this. I have four right now. I guess I can make diamond. Oh, 
What the? This is so high up. Four in total, so we can make a chest plate now. And it's time to update again, so let's go. Okay, Minecraft 1.8 adds building blocks, rabbits, and ocean monuments. So I'm just gonna skip and go straight to 1.9, which is the combat update. I can now use shields and dual wields, so let's get back into it. Okay, Minecraft 1.9.4. So this is obviously the combat update. As you can see, if I swing my sword, we have the cooldown thing. So this should be pretty interesting. I'm gonna try and get like one more vein of diamonds and then we'll go back up. Oh, dude, as I say that, are you kidding me? This might be a big vein too. Let's see. And it was a six vein. Cool. So we have 14 in total right now. Holy. Okay, we're gonna make a chest plate. And then also, I think I'm gonna make a helmet as well. So now I need to use lapis to enchant, but I can see what I'm actually gonna get now. So that's really good. Protection one. Let's just go for unbreaking one. Okay, unbreaking one prot one. I will take that. All right, I'm gonna go back up to surface and we're gonna try and enchant for looting and just get more ender pearls because like most of these next few updates just add things like the woodland mansion and updated villages. So I don't really need to gather any more gear apart from like ender pearls. And take a look at this. Our normal boat has turned into an oak boat and it looks like this. One more enderman. Okay, we're gonna put it in a boat because this is my OP strat and then we're just gonna do this. Oh no. Oh no. I actually really like this boat strat. I can just like keep it here and do this. Let me get another ender pearl. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna make some eyes of ender here because like I might as well start making my way towards the stronghold. Oh... Okay, yeah, it's gonna be very, very far away. I can already tell. I hear a skeleton down here too, so we're gonna try and kill this for XP. Oh my, what the? Dude, holy, I don't even have my hotkeys set up, so I had to scroll? Oh, I was literally dead right there. That was it. It was over. Okay, well, apparently I'm in a mineshaft right now. Dude, I have no words for that play. All right, well, we're in a mineshaft right now, and I guess it's time for me to update, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're going all the way to Minecraft 1.11. This was called the Exploration Update because it added woodland mansions and totems of undying. But most importantly, a brand new mob, which is the llama. Let's continue. Okay, so we're now here in Minecraft 1.11. Oh wait, my smooth lighting has been off for this entire time. Are you guys ready to see this? Here we go. Maximum smooth lighting. That looks so much better, dude. I hear some zombies around here. Oh, we found a spawner. Perfect. Oh, two spawners next? Next to each other? What is going on? All right, well, I'm just gonna kill these zombies real quick. We're gonna get so much XP out of this. This is gonna be crazy. All right, we got diamond horse armor, another saddle, but I'm not gonna take that. Music discs and more saddles. Okay. Well, not quite what I wanted, but I will still take the free XP. We'll probably get to like level 20 right now, to be honest. Okay, it's nighttime right now, so I'm gonna try and find. Yeah, we found an enderman. Okay, cool. Get ready for the pro strats. Yes, let's go. And apparently a zombie got in as well, so that's fun. Oh, and another one. I see another enderman. Okay, we gotta kill as many as possible. Doesn't even matter if I'm like getting low because my armor is just so good. And another one. Okay, I will take it. Two more ender balls. And another- wait, what? That wasn't just one enderman? Oh no, I might actually die here. Dude, chill. Chill. Okay, that's one. And dead. Oh, I found a dark oak. Okay, this is kind of good. Um, I'm gonna try and find a woodland mansion, but I mean, these are brand new chunks, so it could happen, but it's just like so unlikely. Actually, I just had an idea. So I think just for the content, I'm gonna locate the woodland mansion and just like go check it out for a few minutes. They usually spawn like 10,000 blocks away and there's just no way that I have time to like run that far. So we're just gonna go ahead and open to land, do this. Slash locate mansion. Just to make it hard for myself, I need to land an MLG. Oh my- why am I inside? Oh no, I'm on top. All right, well, apparently I'm here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is grab like three wooden planks and just place down a bed because the mobs that are in here are just ridiculous. Oh no, I can only sleep at night. Okay, I'll have to place down a bed a bit later. I just need to try my best not to die right now. If I die, then that's just gonna be so unfortunate. No way, there's a library room. This is perfect. How about a second diamond sword enchant? Knockback one, sharpness one. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna try it out. Knockback one, here we go. Bang. Seriously? Nothing else? Just knock back one? Oh, I found an Enderman. Interesting. Two Endermen. Oh no, what was that? That's the stray, probably. Okay, we're gonna hit this guy. We're gonna hit this guy. We're gonna just do this. Okay, come on. Let me just kill the Enderman. That's one. That's two. Oh, another Enderman. This is perfect. Two more Endermen. Dude, I'm getting so lucky right now. Oh, this chest. I've literally never looted one of these before, so I have, like, no idea what to expect. All right, I found some actual threatening mobs here. These guys, like, deal so much damage. Oh, this is the one that drops the Undying Totem. Wait, was it seriously that easy? Oh no. These are the things. These are the- these are the things. Oh, I killed one. I killed one. Okay, that's good. Is that another one that drops a totem of undying? Are you kidding? Don't spawn the things. Don't spawn the children. Oh, wait, hold up. If I, like, clutch and pick up this totem, 
then I can probably use it to just stay alive. Oh wait, it's time to update, so we're gonna go all the way to 1.12. Okay, Minecraft 1.12 was called the World of Color update. It adds colored beds, concrete, and terracotta. It also adds the parrot and illusioners, which are a new illager that blinds players. Let's get back into it. Okay, and the library's here, so we're gonna place down our enchantment table, and if we do another level 20 sword, we can get fire aspect. Let's just like combine these together and re-enchant a diamond sword. Oh, this has fire aspect. Perfect, dude. And I'm pretty sure I've explored the entire mansion now, so we're just gonna break our bed here and slash TP back all the way to 0, zero where I spawned. All right, we are here in the cursed spawn, so I guess from here, what we're gonna do is throw an Eye of Ender, and we can start making our way to the fortress. Like, we have our totems, we have our fire aspect sword. It's definitely looking good right now, so let's just do this. Now I'm just gonna start making my way to the stronghold. Let's go. Oh no. Dude, what is this? There's like a weird layered water thing there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna toss out these totems because like I kind of don't deserve them. I kind of just TP'd there, so you know, I don't want to like cheat. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna mine a bunch of iron right now and make an anvil so I can like make a pretty good sword because fire aspect on its own is okay. But yeah, we can go mining when I find a cave, but I found wolves, dude. I have so many bones. I'm about to have the biggest wolf pack in existence, okay? And I have fire aspect, so I have like infinite cooked food for them. Oh my, this is so good. I mean, I might as well feed them. We can have some baby dogs as well. Dude, look at the power I hold right now. We're just gonna tap the cow and watch them all attack. <laughs> oh no. See, I would feel bad, but this is just too epic, okay? Throw another eye, and apparently it's this way. Okay, it could be in the ocean, like kind of nearby, to be honest. All right, let's throw another one. No way. Wait, what? My cords are 500. And the stronghold's here. How is that even possible? Okay, well, just in case you guys didn't think this world could look any more cursed, we're about to go into the aquatic update, so, uh, yeah, let's do it. Minecraft 1.13, also known as the aquatic update. This adds swimming, turtles, and actual fish mobs, and it also means that I can now find shipwrecks and buried treasure, so let's continue. Dude, my world is just gonna break, okay? This is actually gonna happen. Okay, it didn't actually break. Let's go. So I have nine eyes of ender right now because one broke. So I think what I'm gonna do is, as it's nighttime, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, just welcome back to Minecraft. <laughs> what is going on? Dude, why is the boat sinking? Okay, it's fine. Everything's normal. I'm just gonna try and find some Enderman before I go into the fortress, because that'll mean that I won't have to, like, come back up. Yes, I found one. Okay, this is good. Maybe I can kill it. Come on. There we go. And we got a pearl. Perfect. Okay, well, I was gonna say I'm gonna look for some iron, but it seems like I can just kind of get some off of the edges of this broken chunk, so that's always fun. Now he's got to enchant books until I get sharpness. So there we go. Level three, sharpness one. Sharpness one. If I can get one more sharpness, then we're set. So fire aspect one, sharp one. Sharp two. Another sharp two book, and I need seven to put it on. Okay. I feel like this is pretty overkill, but I mean, it's fine. Oh wait, actually, before I go, I kind of want to try and find one more village. At least now I know the stronghold is like right here, so let me just quickly sleep so my spawn resets. Okay, it hasn't been 10 minutes, but I am going to update again just because I want to find this new village, so let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, Minecraft 1.14 is the village and pillage update. Villagers now spawn in tons of different biomes, which is cool, but most importantly, pandas. And foxes, but mainly pandas. Let's get back into it. All right, here we are, the Minecraft village and pillage update, and the world is still somehow going. Okay. Okay, apparently I've managed to load some new chunks, so as you can see, there's like all of the new coral and stuff. Yo, dude, there's a village with a blacksmith and a shipwreck right there. Okay, yeah, we've definitely managed to load in some new chunks. Also, the dogs that I tamed just disappeared. I'm pretty sure sailing away from them just makes them despawn, so I can try and tame some more. Let's just like tame more dogs. I love how I only just noticed and it's been like three updates or something. I'm pretty sure this village has two blacksmiths. Okay, this chest has nothing. I'm pretty sure they like updated villages again in 1.15, so that's why it looks different to normal and there's like crops growing. I'll check this shipwreck and then we're gonna go to 1.15 just to see how like this village changes. And then I'll head to the stronghold and we'll beat the game. Okay, we have a chest. We got a fire protection 2 leather helmet and some wheat. Nice. Minecraft 1.15. Bees. Also, sweet berries now spawn in tiger biomes. Okay, this update adds bees to the game and I think that's pretty much it. So that's why I just did it super quickly since it doesn't really like change anything. So I think now all I gotta do is just head back to where the stronghold is, which is like, I don't know, 500 blocks away or so. I'm gonna use my trusty fire aspect sword to uh, grab some extra food as well. Okay, I am so confused. I'm being led in like a completely different direction now. I'm pretty sure a completely new stronghold has spawned in, dude. I- this is just becoming so chaotic. I'm trying to add some structure to this video because it is just a chaotic idea, and it's just like s random things keep happening. Well, I mean, at least I can get some more enderpearls now because we're going to be traveling a lot more, so 
Let's just do this, do this, and one more ender pearl. There we go. Also, I figured out why the game looked so nice last update, and it's because of the new textures. Like, I don't know how I didn't realize, but yeah, that's it. All right, it's taking me to the left now, so that means it must be, like, kind of nearby. One more level, and I can get the sharp three on my sword. Okay, we're just gonna kill random mobs right now. And there we go, we have seven. All right, we can just do this, and then we can just do this, and we have a fire aspect one, sharpness three diamond sword. Okay. I'm used to going into the end with like no armor and speed running, so this should be nice and easy. Oh. It's just changed direction completely, so it must be, like, in the next sort of 50 blocks or so. I really wish I went to the corrupted one that, like, just despawned, because that would have been quite funny. Anyway, I'm pretty sure if I just, like, dig down around here, I should get into the stronghold. Oh, I hear bats. Okay, there's definitely something below- Yes, dude, let's go! I found it. If I get, like, a good enchanted book here, then- Oh my- What?! Sharpness 4? My sword was already OP enough, but now I have sharp 4. Holy. All right, let's see how many levels it is for this. It is 11. Okay, we're gonna try and do that, I think, before we go in. There should be a silverfish spawner to break, so that can, like, give me some XP, and then I'll just kill, like, random mobs that I see as well. Okay, I found a chest. We got- Yes! That is so lucky. I got an ender pearl. Okay, so all we need is one eye already placed, and that's not that difficult. No way, I found it. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna grind silverfish for, like, a minute or so. Is there an eye? There's two eyes. Perfect. Perfect, dude. That's actually so lucky. So yeah, all I gotta do now is just grind 11 levels because I really want to get that sharp for Aqua Affinity. I could just only put Aqua Affinity on my helmet. That would be like very OP. Wait, Infinity? I was about to read out Smite 4, but like Infinity is very good. If I didn't have a stack of arrows, then that would be very, very nice. I found a minecart chest with diamonds inside and a gapple. Okay, I'll take it. This goes like this. This goes like this. And sharp for Fire Aspect 1 Diamond Sword. Oh, I just threw one. I'm so lucky that two are already in here. Oh, I forgot to break this. That would have been a bit quicker than just leaving, but... <laughs> anyway, now it is finally time. Let's go ahead and place this here and surround ourselves with Eyes of Ender. Oh wait, actually, I need to update to 1.16. Okay, finally. Welcome to the final update of this video. Somehow you made it all the way here, so I just want to say thanks. This update completely overhauls the nether, adding two new biomes and a bunch of new mobs. Ruined portals also spawn in the overworld and the nether now, but luckily I've already got my blaze rods and Eyes of Ender, so we're good to go. And here we are, Minecraft 1.16.5. Let's go. I began this world in Minecraft beta, and although it's very, very corrupted and looks horrible, we're still here, okay? Final eye of ender going in and we spawned underground i think so that's kind of cool i'm honestly just not even worried right now we have like the perfect setup we have food we have golden apples an op sword that's just gonna destroy the dragon okay i'm gonna fight an enderman i think because like if i get one pearl oh apparently two okay i just want to be slightly careful here i don't know why i still haven't made a shield but i didn't bring any wood with me so i can't even like do it do a nice pearl do that. There we go. And now I can just easily snipe all of them. Okay, and if I just do this, and then one of these, and then one of these, and then just snipe every single one of them, dude. Oh, I'm actually damaging the dragon too. This is perfect. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my. I was about to die. wonder if I can snipe it like this. Oh, that was actually sick. Okay. And last but not least, this one here. Bang. Let's go. All right, while I wait, I'm just gonna do this because it is very essential and I need infinity. All right, and we just do this. Bang, dude, look at the damage. Oh my, this is so good. Oh, it hit me though. Oh, oh, okay. This might get me killed. This is actually kind of dangerous. Okay, I'm not gonna jump just to be safe. I'm also gonna eat chicken because if I got like, if he span around, I would have just died. Dude, I can probably kill it like this. If my bow doesn't break, we can do it. Can I do it? Come on, please, please, please. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, it's frozen in the strangest position ever. What is that? That was actually so fun to record. Holy. This video did kind of take like two weeks to make, but in the end, you know, it turned out very well. As I said in the intro, if you guys did enjoy that video, then leave a like and I will do a Minecraft manhunt in Alpha Minecraft. It's going to be even more cursed than this recording, but I mean, it'll be pretty interesting, okay? Thank you guys for all of the support recently. It's genuinely been insane. We're already at 30k and I've uploaded three videos. Oh no, 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 no. I need to beat the game. Oh no. Dude, dude, duh. Okay, we're fine. And yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace. I sold my soul to a little Manati for a white chick and a new Ferrari. JK, I am hardly the type to sell my soul for money. Don't mean I ain't trying to bargain. I keep my enemies in all.